Hello, it's Carrie from Top of the Hill Fitness, welcoming you back to working out with a targeted piece of work for the upper body. There's lots of variety. We've managed to find 21 different exercises for the arms and core. We'll do three by 30 second intervals continuous. Take a 30 second break and do six more rounds like that. The exercises will be coming at you fast, but that will keep it interesting. All set? Let's go with hollow hold for 20. You're in a V formation and just holding that hollow hold for 13 more seconds. Next up is plank pull. On your front in a high plank position and pulling with one arm then the other and repeating that for just 12 more seconds. Next up is Russian twist. Okay, you're on your back for this one, legs up in 90 degrees, and you are alternating your tap side to side. Next up is your 30 second break. So that's a quick series of exercises and we're gonna do that six more times. So for a total of seven rounds. In the next round, we've got a side plank dip on the right side, plank ups, and then the side plank dip on the left side. So we're just gonna keep working through this at a fast pace. Okay, up in your right side plank from your elbow and dipping down so that your hip comes close to touching the mat and back up again. Just keep that going, just eight more seconds. We're gonna do plank ups next. Starting from elbow plank and you're gonna push up into high plank and then come back down again and try to alternate which side you're leading from on each push up. Next up is that left side plank dip. Into your left side plank and then dipping those hips down and up again. And next up is our 30 second break. Take your break. So that's two rounds done. We've got five to go. Our next one will be a toe tap crunch, shoulder push ups, and scissors. on your back and your legs are way up as straight as you can and try to get as close as you can to touching your toes. Next up is shoulder push-ups. So you're starting from kind of like a downward dog position in a triangle with your butt way up and then lowering down into a push-up really using your shoulders for this. It's a great way of targeting them. Scissors are next. On your back and just get that scissor action going. Quick alternating side to side. Up next is our 30 second break. and take your break. And in our next round, we've got a double leg lower, diamond push-ups, and dead bug.
on your back with legs way up and lowering down, trying to keep that lower back flat into the mat. Slow lower, raise them back up. Keep that going. We've got diamond push-ups next. From your knees and hands making a diamond shape with the thumb and forefingers and lowering down to that diamond target. Got dead bug next. On your back and your extending opposite arm and leg out straight and bringing them back to um, to the center position. Break is next. Take your 30 second break. We are just whipping through this one. Next up, we've got a bicycle crunch, tricep dips, and plank with a cross knee to chest. And on your back for bicycle crunch, trying to get that elbow to knee action going quick, quick, quick for just 12 more seconds. Tricep dips are next. Over on your back and hands are facing your butt, lowering down your hips to the ground and pushing back up again using your triceps to do that. Plank cross knee is next. Over on your front and high plank position, bring one knee up to across your chest and then re replace the foot and alternating side to side, just eight more seconds to break time. and take your break. We've just got a couple more rounds. Uh, this next one will do Pilates, toe taps, push-ups, and prairie dog. On your back for Pilates, toe taps. Legs up, bent at 90 degrees, and you're just tapping the toe down, alternating legs. Try to keep pressing your lower back into the mat. Push-ups are next. Over on your front, in your choice, elbow uh, from your knees or full push-up. Just keep that going for 10 more seconds. Prairie dog next. So you're on your knees and extending opposite arm and leg out straight and re replacing them back to that center position. And just keep that going for six more seconds and we'll take our last break. And it's break time. So our last round will be heel taps, back extensions, and plank hold. So on your back with your knees bent and bring your heels in as close to your butt as you can. And off we go for heel taps. You're just tapping side to side on the heels. And we'll flip over for back extensions next. So you're on your stomach for back extensions, arms uh, up, elbows bent behind your head and lifting using your lower back 
to lift your upper body off the mat. Plank hold is the last exercise. Come on up into elbow plank for your best plank hold ever. Straight, think about opening up the back of your knees to the ceiling, keeping your hips tucked, and you are strong. On the wall, we've got paintings by Bradley Harms, and you can read more about Brad's work in the description below the video. Thanks for working out with us. Give us a like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time at Top of the Hill.